Lead generation forms are a great tool to help you generate leads from your target customers without requiring them to visit your website or your landing pages to submit the form. But since these forms aren't on your own website, that means that we need to take a couple of additional steps to integrate those forms with your CRM to make sure every user gets put into a nurture workflow so your sales team can follow up with them and bring them all the way through to the customer stage. One of the most common platforms that we see companies using nowadays is HubSpot for their CRM. So what I want to do today is show you how you can integrate your HubSpot account with your LinkedIn account to transition those lead gen forms from LinkedIn directly into HubSpot so they find their way into the customer user flow. To get started, you need to make sure that whatever browser you're in, you are already logged into your LinkedIn ads account and to your HubSpot account. If you have multiple different accounts within each of those, like you have multiple different clients on LinkedIn and multiple different accounts on HubSpot, that's okay. You'll be able to select those as we go through this process, but just make sure that you're logged in with the appropriate credentials that have the right admin access. Now for the next step, I'm gonna start off on this page because I think this is going to be the easiest page to get started from and we get to cheat a little bit. I've added the link in the show notes down below. So if you want to find this link, all you have to do is go down there. But you can also simply Google integrate LinkedIn lead gen forms with and then add your CRM or marketing automation platform and you should be able to find this page. The reason I'm starting here is because if I come over here to HubSpot, which we're going to use for this video, in the bottom left you can see that the link preview is actually a HubSpot link and it gets me started on the path. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and it'll open up a new window. And it's prompted me to use this account. But as I mentioned a minute ago, you can select different accounts because this is not the one I want to use. So I'm just going to click view other accounts and then I'm going to choose the account that I want to actually link. Next, since this account does not already have the LinkedIn ads app installed within HubSpot, we're going to have to install that. So I'm going to come over here to install app. And then it'll bring me to this page where I need to go to connect my LinkedIn account. So again, just following the steps here, going to connect the account. You can see here, you can connect up to two ad accounts because we're using the free version of HubSpot. So for this video, since we're doing LinkedIn, I'm going to choose LinkedIn. It then brought up a second window that prompted me to type in my LinkedIn password. So apparently even if you're logged in, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to come down here to allow. And although we've got them all blurred out, now I'm able to choose the LinkedIn account that I want to tie to this HubSpot account. So like I mentioned earlier, you'll still be able to choose whichever one you want. So I'm going to navigate to the account that I want. We're going to use this one and it turned on auto tracking. So I'm going to click connect and then we'll come over and click next. And now we're getting to the part that we started off this video for automatically sync your leads from lead generation ads to your HubSpot CRM. Since this is a brand new integration, HubSpot is giving us the option to choose if we want only new leads or if we want to import some of the leads from the last 90 days. So here we can say that we can sync the time frame, and you can choose all leads, which means all leads from the last 90 days and all new leads will sync to HubSpot, or you can choose just new leads. So this is important. If you have been manually pulling the lead information out of LinkedIn and adding it to HubSpot, you should choose only the new leads section. If you have not been doing that, you'll want to choose all leads to make sure that you're not missing out on the leads that you've generated from the platform in the last 90 days. So depending on how you've been managing it, choose the one that's right for you. Since this is a placeholder LinkedIn account and a placeholder HubSpot account, there are no leads. So I'll just leave it as all leads and then we'll click next. You're then prompted to install a pixel to the site to track users if you want to. I do not want to do this, so I'm going to click skip step. And that's all we need to do to integrate the LinkedIn and HubSpot accounts together so that all of our lead forms will be populated into the account. Now to test this, what I want to do is jump into that account. I'm going to create a new ad with a new form, test submit, and then we're going to see if it shows up in HubSpot. So let's hop into that account. And I've already navigated to a lead generation campaign that's all set up with all the fake information, all that good stuff. There is an ad already in here, but it's already had a test lead submitted recently. I wonder why. So I'm going to create a new one. So just for sake of showing you how to do this, you can come in here and you can duplicate an ad. Everything is still going to have all of this placeholder information for the fake ad with the fake form. And it's already got the form from November 2020 in here. 
I could create a new one if I wanted to, but for now I'm just gonna stick with the original form that's in place. So now that I've done that, I can just come over and click create. My ad is being saved, but now I need to go and add it and make it active out of draft status. And now it's in review. Rather than go through the process of pushing this forward, doing all this, I'm actually gonna come up and test submit a lead. And how you do that is you come and click these three dots again. And now we're gonna go to preview. Here we'll see the preview of the ad that we have in here that Joe put together a while ago, I think. And all we need to do is scroll down so that we can see the sign up call to action down at the bottom. And when we click on that, it opens up the form itself. So here you can see the Joe Martinez Milwaukee PPC account. And then it's only asking for a small amount of information, email address, first name, last name, simple enough. So to submit that lead, all I have to do is click submit. And now we see the thank you page or the confirmation page that shows up after somebody submits a form. And then you can see the visit company website link after that, that would take you to paidmediapros.com. But that's all we need to do to submit a test form fill on a LinkedIn ad. So I'm gonna click out of this and then we're gonna hop into our HubSpot account. Now what we wanna do is head into our contacts portion of HubSpot and see if that lead showed up. So to do that, we just need to come over here to contacts and click contacts. And just like everything else we show you, most of this is blurred out, but here you can see that first lead, all of this came directly from that LinkedIn lead gen ad. So with this, I would say everything looks good. Everything is integrated. This was almost instant from when I filled out the form to when it showed up in HubSpot. So all the timing looks good and we can count this integration done. As you can see, it's super easy to tie your HubSpot and LinkedIn accounts together so that all of your LinkedIn Legion forms will automatically populate their way into HubSpot and find their way into whatever workflow you're using for all of the leads that you're generating across any different platform. If you're interested in learning more about lead gen forms themselves and some strategies you can use, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But otherwise, if you have any questions about this integration or anything else that has to do with tying these two accounts together, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.